circles find area of the unshaded region shown in this figure so here we have to find area of this unshaded region which is shown in this figure okay so in order to find area of this unshaded region unshaded region means this region that is this white region that is in order to find area of this unshaded region we can see that this unshaded region contains a square and four semicircles okay so in order to find area of this unshaded region what we have to find we have to find area of this square and this four semicircles then it will becomes area of this unshaded region in order to find area of square and semicircles what we need we need its side that is the measurement of its sides and for the semicircle we need the measure of its radius okay in order to find that we take the area sorry the side of the square as a centimeter look look here the side of the square equal to diameter of the circle then what we can see here if okay what we can see here that is if we join this line that is pq like this then what we will get that is this pq is a line which contains 3 cm plus 3 cm the measure given plus the radius that is 2 radius plus 3 cm and what about this 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 red line that is the square's area equal to a cm then we can see this is a rectangle here so what is the measurement of this side this is also equal to a cm okay now so we get our blueprint of this figure here so what we have to find we have to find a cm what is the value of a here in order to find area of these four semicircles and this square okay so what we note here that this equal to a cm since it is a, it forms a rectangle opposite sides are equal so this quantity is also equal to a cm here so at first what we have to find area of the unshaded region area of the unshaded region equal to area of square plus area of these four semi circles then what is the side of the square and diameter of the circle which which is which both are equal to A centimeter. That is, this con this line is the diameter of the circle and the side of the square, and these two are equal to a centimeter. Now, that is PQ equal to AB equal to fourteen centimeter. Why PQ AB forms a rectangle? Similarly, here this line. forms a rectangle here the so this line is also equal to a cm that is side of the square okay now now we have to find what is a cm here for that consider the line pq what is pq pq equal to 14 that is 14 equal to 3 plus r plus this side a cm plus r plus 3 okay where r is the radius of this semicircle now 
On simplifying this, we will get 14 equal to 6 plus 2R plus A. Okay. Now, see, 14 minus 6 will give 8. Then, what is 2R? That is, diameter of the circle is A centimeter. 2R is the diameter, so it which is also equal to a centimeter. That is 8 equal to a plus a which is equal to 2a equal to 8. Then what is a? a equal to 8 by 2 which is 4 centimeter. If a is 4 centimeter, that is the diameter of the circle is 4 centimeter. What about its radius? It is equal to 4 by 2 which is 2 centimeter. Okay. So we get side of the square and the radius of the circle next we can find the area that is area of the square equal to 4 into 4 that is 16 centimeter what about area of 4 semicircle that is 4 into area of 1 semicircle what is area of 1 semicircle that is pi r square by 2 which is equal to 2 and 4 get cancelled that is 2 into pi into r square which is 2 square that is which is equal to 8 pi centimeter square so we get area of square and area of four semicircles then area of unshaded region equal to 16 plus 8 pi centimeter square then since pi equal to 3.14 we can substitute that value here and we will get area of unshaded region equal to 41.12 centimeter square 